Hello everybody, it is I, the Waluigi Big Mac, and welcome back to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Heritage Story Future Super Story Mode. Last time we beat Death 13 and Fade the Baby Pee Pee and Poo Poo. And, uh, yeah, that's all I can remember. It's, it's kind of weird because I'm doing these back to back, like at least three episodes a day, but whatever, let's get this started. So, so right now we have the Judgment minigame, and it works similar to the Enyaba minigame that I had trouble with with Jotaro. Except rather than having a bunch of baby baby zombos, we have uh, the clay dolls that Cameo created. Oh, it says oh it says there that we're controlling Aftal, so that's good. Anyway, let's go. Now I'm assuming it's going to work the same way, where there's where the same button is like a special move or something. <laughs> Hell Are to you. you ready? Go! Ha! Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, oh. The trick here is you, you want to attack Cameo as much as possible while avoiding the, uh... The easiest way to do this is just do the Joe Star secret technique run away. Oh yeah, you can also do this in the air. I am running out of- I'm running- I'm screwed! Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna have to try that again. I always have to, I always have trouble with those types because because this is because it's not really a typical fight. Yeah, and it's basically just avoid of the others as much as possible. Because these guys like, these guys are almost as annoying as, uh, as Ball Psyche from King Fire 13, where he'll just grab you really slowly and, uh, like that. And the other can just run up to you and pack them. I mean, Sherry's the only... Zombie Sherry is really... Or Golden Push Sloppy Sherry is the only one that will really uh, be a nuisance since since because Athel would just stand there and attack you. There we go. I didn't even use any supers, but then again, I didn't know how to. Unless I had to do an input. But regardless. <laughs> Hooray. So oh, there we go. Oh, wait. son of a jackal, the scum ran away. The stand wielder must be hiding around here somewhere. Wait. This pipe is very suspicious. Is he hunting, hiding underground using this pipe as a vent? What would happen if I covered that pipe with my finger? Ha ha ha, I think having problems breathing. I think he's having problems breathing. Uh, I know, why don't we drop everything we can find in that pipe? <laughs> That's how they censored it? That's not enough, we need more stuff. Ah, go, go, ye, ye, go up, ba. Aye, forgive me. No way, my fourth wish is to ignore your wish. Magician's Red will never forgive you. Alrighty. More, cl more clarification. In the original, they just straight up hiss in, in the pipe. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that's how it happened. I'm too lazy to look it up, but... 
pretty sure that's how it happened. Alrighty. Uh, priest. Oh, finally, we have another. We have a break. We have a, another regular battle now. Finally. Hey, Kagiyoi, why did you prepare six cups? There are only five of us, you know. That's strange. Perhaps I'm being absent-minded. I thought I prepared only five cups. What? Huh? Old man. Or GG. Impossible. That's a stand. That stand was among us. It disappeared. No. Since it, since it can transform into a metallic object, it must be hiding underground. Uh, old man in Japanese is GG, I believe. We will be at a disadvantage if we continue fighting here. Let's separate and fight on our own. Come off the stand. I'll defeat you myself. Yeah, there we go. If the special moves are popping up, that means it's a regular fight. There, there we go. Well, I'm not gonna even use my supers. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wail on her. Um, oh yeah, fun fact. So Capcom wanted to use Midler as a character, but since Mid but in the original anime and manga, Midler did not have a uh, any official look. So Capcom commissioned Araki to create an actual design. So so Capcom can make Midler. So yeah. Yellow Temperance is now available in the arcade versus in training mode. So basically, that means I have unlocked Rubber Soul, my main. Although if I although if I really want to play Rubber Soul, then I would just uh play the arcade. I have teeth that are sh as strong as diamonds. You'll be crushed to death. Also, keep in mind this was all taking place on the water. Or 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 bong 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 bong. Yeah. How pathetic. You do have strong teeth. Like you said, but I crushed them up by crushed them all. And there we go. Uh, we can probably view the story of the next one. Wait, what? Oh, are we Oh, where are we at? Where are we at and duel? So we're we're pretty much halfway there, and also this is where we meet our sixth member. On our way to Egypt, the SPW Syndicate Speedwagon Foundation, uh, which is owned by the Joestar family, brought another sandmaster. The sand wielder is Iggy. He is a dog with the power of the sand. The helicopter that the helicopter has just flown away has crashed here. There are no signs of weapon attacks, meaning. Is that water? The stand of water? <laughs> oh, no. oh no, Kakioin has been hit! Kakioin! Wah! It's another enemy with the power of a stand. Onoref, don't panic! Oh no, Onoref is in. Oh no, Onoref is in danger! Jotaro, what are you doing? If we, if we can find the Sandmaster, I can beat him. Oh, there's Iggy. Iggy must have smelled where he is. Let's find them all. Let's find them and then finish them. Ha ha ha, idiots. They finally realize I can attack them from, from here with my stand. Alright. So, fun fact. End the world with another stage in the uh, arcade game. So this, is com so this isn't completely new. However, I'm sad that they didn't show the... Uh, I'm just sad he didn't show the cutscene where uh, Iggy just jumps up and pointer after and parts in his face. But anyway, let's get this done and over with. I've, I've done this stage so many times I know what I'm doing, for the most part. Also, unlike the other stages like these, you can actually turn your stand on and off. Make a 
Mine. Yep. So now I have access to double jumps. This is essentially a speed run. Also, when I'm, also when I flash after I get hit, that's I'm actually using text. Which means after you get hit, you can actually uh, gain a little jump boost to get back into the action. And I and one punch kills him. But yeah, that was yeah. I, I'm gonna do that very quickly. I played this game too many times. The arcade one, rather. Oh, I didn't get the secret factor on this. And it doesn't matter. Relax, I won't kill you. I, I want you to tell me about the stand masters that we are going to encounter. Oh no, I don't believe it. He shot himself in the head with his own stand. <laughs> I won't tell you anything. Anything that would go against Master Dio. Hoo, hoo, hoo. But I'll tell you this. My name is Endul. My stand is Gif. The ground god. Hee hee hee. He has, to has total control over his people. What kind of man possesses such power? I mean, I mean, the man created zombies, so... And other vampires. But anyway, that is all for today. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.